just welcome back and welcome to another Japan vlog. This will be my last one. So we just caught the train from Tokyo back to Osaka. We've left our bags at the hotel. It is really warm. I am wearing leggings and I wish I changed out of them, but that's okay. Danny is tired of walking and so am I, but I want to explore. So he's at a bar and I'm going to go to Don Key because I love that store. So come along with me. Staying in Ginza this time, which is less busier than where we're staying for Shinjuku. So this one's probably going to be a bit more chill, especially because we've only got a few days left as well. And we're pretty exhausted <laughs> from everything that we've done. So this is probably going to be more of a relaxed sort of vlog. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I want to buy a traditional matcha kit, but I know that I will not <laughs> I will not do it at home. It's something that I will never use, but I would love to have one. Who are these? They're all magnets. I thought this was going to be a shorter version, like a smaller version of the store that I was in the other day, but it keeps stretching on and on. I feel like I'm going to be in here for an hour at least. Stores also have pre loved designer, which blows my mind. There is a Prada bag for $920. find a Murakami Louis bag. I'm gonna come here and get one of those Prada bags before I leave. I love how they've got a whole adult store section, but then these are just out in the open. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay, I was gonna do a little haul when I got back to the hotel for my my everything that I bought in Japan video, but because I paid for everything tax free, I have to keep it in this bag until I get to the airport and I don't think I'm allowed to open anything. stopped into a chemist to see if I could find something that I was actually looking for in Donkey and it's this it looks like a mascara stick but it's for your hair and it stops the frizzy bits coming up I know my mum is going to lose her mind I'm gonna give it to her when I go back to Brisbane in about a month I think she's always complaining about how curly bits of hair stick up at the front and I thought I might as well try it as well because I saw this girl on TikTok talking about it and I thought I need to find that before I leave Japan so that's sorted into a lawsuit because I bought these rice covered in like a matcha paste on one of my first days in Tokyo and it has been my favorite snack so far. I bought it from a Lawson and I haven't been able to find it at any other Lawson's or any other convenience store. So I really hope I can find some before I leave Tokyo but yeah. <laughs> I am going to go collect Danny from his bar, pub, whatever. <laughs> We're going to actually check in at the hotel. We have checked into the hotel. It's probably our favorite hotel that we stayed at so far. A little bit of time to kill before dinner. So I'm gonna walk down to the water cause there's a little park there and I might go for a bit of a stroll. And after that, we're probably gonna go get something to eat. That Japan is that fruit is super expensive. I just walked past a fruit and veg store. Two peaches and that's just under seven AUD. And that is about $35 from watermelon. 
I just popped into a 7-Eleven to grab a little iced tea and I saw this and I haven't seen it before. It says it's a cider drink and it has zero calories and I looked at the ingredients and there's no sugar, there's a sweetener. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay, slay. It's like some sparkling vitamin water. Go off, crow. It's a little weird. It's kind of hydrolyte sort of tasting, but loves it. I made it to the river. I don't know which direction to walk in. <laughs> we are going this way. Actually, I want dinner, so I'm gonna walk back to the hotel now. <laughs> Good morning, we just woke up. Sorry, it's a little bright, <laughs> even though it's cloudy outside. So we just woke up and we are going to go to a fish market for breakfast. And then we're going to do some shopping today. Got a bit of cash left to spend. We did a bit of shopping on the first few days, but we haven't really done any since. I wanna get a handbag today. So let's see how our day goes. <laughs> Check this out. So this is the lift and yesterday I was wondering what this is. I was like, is this a seat? I translated it. It's an emergency toilet. In the lift? and I've seen some things that I might buy but I think I'm actually gonna catch a train to Ueno. There's a food market there that I want to try out and there's also a Book Off Plus which normally have secondhand designer so I might check there first see if I find anything for a lower price before I buy anything in Ginza. So let's see what happens. I've had enough of walking at this point so it's just me. <laughs> found an adult store. I wasn't even looking for it. I just <laughs> stumbled upon it. Um, I bought a few outfits for work. I don't know if they'll fit. Um, some of them were packet ones. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to try and find some, maybe some sushi, something to eat at least, but I'm actually not sure if this is the safest area because I've, I have had a few random men approach me. So, just going to be safe. Book off was a bit of a flop, unfortunately. I did see a black Versace bag, which was in pretty good condition, and it was selling for about 150 AUD, but yeah, okay, I might stop in here and get some sushi. But I was also like, it's it's cute, but it's not really my style, and I'm not gonna buy it just because it's cheap. Okay, sushi time. Mind that there was not enough room for me in there. <laughs> Just went to another Don Quixote and may have bought some more Hello Kitty stuff. But Akibara is kind of close, so I might go there and check it out before I go back to the hotel.
This is blueberry daifuku, which is what I had the other day in Nara. And I got this one as well. I'm pretty sure it's a matcha. So Danny and I couldn't agree on what to do for dinner. So we're both having separate dinners. I know I've had ramen literally every single day that I've been in Japan and I should be over it by now, but I'm not. <laughs> so there is a restaurant that I walked past yesterday that I might go to. was less than $10 Australian. Insane. I had ramen, dumplings, and I got an iced tea as well. Insane. I am gonna miss being able to sit down at a restaurant, just be able to order a cold tea every single time I sit down for a meal, it's a vibe. And also being able to go to a corner store and just get cold unsweetened tea. I know I could easily make my own at home. There are so many things that I'm gonna miss about Japan. Devo that tomorrow is my last full day. Anyway, I am going to go and get one of the handbags that I saw yesterday, so. Exciting. She's mine! So I got the pink bag. It ended up being just over $600 Australian. And I also got Alex a little coach pouch for his birthday next month, turning 30. And I will be in October as well. <laughs> so weird to think about. Definitely do not feel like I'm about to turn 30. He has this little couch thing that he stores all his cords and charges in and we have a running joke about how shit this little pouch is because he bought it from Ikea 15 years ago so I got him a nice coach pouch thing to replace his shitty <laughs> Ikea purse thing that's me I am satisfied last time I was in Japan I came home with so many clothes but they just haven't really been on par with what I've been looking for. That's the way it is. I am happy. I think I've got $50 cash left. So, done pretty well. Good morning. Danny is craving a English breakfast. So that's what we're doing for food this morning. There's a Denny's around the corner, <laughs> which is random, but Let's go to Denny's for breakfast. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I forgot to film here, but we are about to go to round one, which is a big Japanese amusement center. It's, it's hectic. It's got arcade and it's got a bunch of other activities. You'll see it. <laughs> It's such a cool concept and we paid about $30 each and we were there for six hours. <laughs> so come along with us.
little pointless hat clips. Okay, no good. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at this. This place is massive. Okay, we are home now. <laughs> this is my big bag of goodies that I did not win, but are now mine anyway. We did buy some snacks from a 7-Eleven there. I have been looking for these since I left Shinjuku and I have not been able to find them, but I stocked up on a few. Did get some more snacks, but I think I'm going to pop out in a second and grab a few extra snacks to take home. I believe this is my last convenience store trip. It's devastating. I'm gonna go to the Lawson across the street because I'm pretty sure Lawson is my favorite. By the way, little hack, there's hardly any bins around the streets of Japan. So if you have rubbish, you end up walking with it for ages because it's so hard to find a bin. Anyway, I have realized that any convenience store will normally have a bin inside it, especially because they all have coffee machines and things like that and there'll always be a bin where the coffee machine is so if you're in japan and you're looking for a bin because it has a convenience stores on every corner just go to a convenience store and then you can find a bin for your rubbish there and i wish i, I only realized that a few days ago and that would have helped so much because i felt like i was carrying around so much trash but the more you know Okay, I am home from my little convenience store run and I'm going to show you my favorite snacks in Japan. Convenience store snacks. Just mind you, most of these are kind of healthy snacks. So if that's not your vibe, completely understand. So I didn't buy all of these just then. I bought some of these at the 7-Eleven before. Actually, I did buy this and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to give that going out it looks like it's some kind of matcha with bean inside it oh it's like a cake okay slay So the quality's not going to be as good. I don't know if I'll buy this again. I'm just not a huge fan of like... Well, there it goes. Five second round.
I did buy this for dinner. It's just tuna and mayonnaise. Okay, so these are my five favorite snacks. I would actually well, like, yeah, obviously these <laughs> are a staple in Japan. I know this sounds weird, soft smoked egg, but I have been, these are so good. <laughs> I've been eating these every day. I love the way Japanese people do their eggs. I've been adding extra eggs to ramen, getting eggs on the side, and these are 10 out of 10. I'm so mad that you can't get these in Australia. These you can get from pretty much every convenience store. There's heaps of different flavors etc. These I've, I think I've seen at every convenience store. I don't think I've ever not. Actually there weren't any at the 7-Eleven that we went to before but I, it's pretty rare for me to not see these in a convenience store. This you can only get at Lawson. And they're edamame chips. And I wasn't expecting Danny doesn't normally like my snacks. <laughs> my snack, my, I'm saying you don't normally like my snacks. <laughs> Thought I was talking shit. <laughs> so he, my snacks are normally way too healthy for him. But. That's not true. Would you want to come in and share your favorite convenience store snacks? Yes. Okay. Oh, I mean the, the fiery squid ones are pretty good. But... Okay, These are, this is Danny's favorite snack. I, I don't know if Ginger's ever told you, I love marshmallows. <laughs> A marshmallows with Nutella. That they're, they're probably unhealthier than they sound as well, but they're pretty good. Oh, oh no, two hundred and forty-eight calories. There you go. And where did you buy them from? I think these are family bar. He does say his favourites, which I actually rate as well. Is the they were like these fried. It was called spicy fried squid, and there were these fried squid strips that we got. I think at Family Mart in Osaka. But they're really yummy. I haven't seen them since though. I've seen normal fried squid strips, so not the spicy ones. They weren't really spicy anyway. But yeah, Danny does not normally like my snacks, but he liked these, which really surprised me. They're more like crackers. I wouldn't really call them chips, but they yummy. These two I'm going to count as one snack, but if you see them both, I've been to a few convenience stores that have only had these but if you have the choice go with these they're like healthy Maltesers zero sugar there's I would assume that they're sweetener but zero refined sugar and these are really yummy they're the perfect snack for when you get back to the hotel and you're just kind of like chilling watching tv watching a movie these you can get everywhere <laughs> they're everywhere and I love these. I bought them on one of my first days and I only bought one packet. I have not seen them until today at the 7-Eleven that we went to. So I got a few packets for the flight home and to have in Australia. But it's pretty much rice crackers with matcha over the top. So yeah, definitely only recommend if you like matcha. And I'm a little matcha. I, I like it. I have a lot of matcha. I think my body is going to go into matcha withdrawals when <laughs> I get back to Australia. But yeah, that's the little haul. Out at 8 a.m., so we have to get up quite early. But just need to sort all of this out. Fun. Yeah, thank you for joining me for my Japan vlogs. I really appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, feel free to sponsor me for another trip to Japan because I would like to come back if you don't want to sponsor another trip to Japan <laughs> I'd still appreciate it if you liked this video and click subscribe as well as the notification bell and all my links as always are down below I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day